Yesterday we told you about a study at URI that's looking into growing the world's most expensive spice here in Rhode Island. And today, Pete Mangione talked to the lead researcher on this project. He joins us now with the follow-up. Saffron is the world's most expensive spice, and it turns out Rhode Island is not a bad place to grow it. The red color of saffron is almost overshadowed by its surrounding flower. But University of Rhode Island postdoctoral researcher Fari Geshem can't say enough good things about the very popular spice. The color is great, the taste is fantastic. With a wholesale price of about $5,000 a pound, there is high value in growing saffron with about 90% of the global harvest coming from Iran. Saffron is not commonly grown in the United States and wasn't grown at all in southern New England until the last couple of years. But saffron is now sprouting up here at URI, and Geshem is leading a research study to weed out the bad methods and plant in the good ones to keep saffron thriving in Rhode Island soils. Although it traditionally grows well in dry soils like in Iran, he says the ocean state does have some advantages. Here we have about six times uh, more organic matter than Iran. Geshem also points out that for the smallest state in the country, and all the farms here are so small, and saffron is perfect for the small farms. While tractors and bigger machinery can be used, it's not a requirement for some of the smaller farms. There is no uh, need to sophisticated uh, technology, machines or something like that and just planting and harvesting by hand. Because it's a fall flowering plant, it can extend the growing season, which has mostly come to an end by now. Geshem says the second year of the harvest here at URI produced double the yield of Iran, and this year's harvest could triple Iran's yield. And it takes between 200 to 300 flowers to produce just one gram of saffron. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.